uncommon for lionesses to be killed during that whole process. The whole pride will try and defend those cubs. And if you watch some of the, the footage that we've actually filmed, even just with the, with the males, the Birmingham boys on Juma, and the Inkuhuma lionesses going for them, when they get irritated, they will tackle those males. But unfortunately, they're that much smaller and they're not nearly as strong. And ultimately, it never really succeeds. The only chance that lioness has of keeping those little ones safe is to get up and take them and run. And she's just got to keep running. Don't keep running. Come back. Please. Oh, I'm too scared to reposition as well because our signal's a little bit funny in this area. We found ourselves a nice gap. HG, is it G, Rebecca? HG Sporty? Or is it HD? Ah, HD. There's a buffalo on the right over there. Um, HD Sporty, the survival rate of lion cubs is higher than those of cheetah cubs, than the survival rate of cheetah cubs. Um, it is circumstantial, so the average is heavily swayed when calculating the number or the mortality rate of lion cubs because when a takeover happens, it involves the, the death of most of the cubs in an area. So that really does, it really does affect it. But being social and aloe suckling contribute an enormous amount to the survival of lion cubs, whereas a female cheetah has to do it all on her own. And what you're looking at or we're looking at there is one of the biggest threats to cheetah cubs out here. Buffalo are known if they find a cheetah den when mom is out or even if mom is there because mom is, you know, a lion can, can chase a buffalo and then can intimidate a buffalo. A cheetah absolutely cannot. And buffalo will go and they will kill, deliberately seek out and kill cheetah cubs. Baboons, again, a baboon is unlikely to tangle with a lion, maybe if she found the cubs on their own, but you never know when mom might be lurking. I mean, somewhere in there is a lion very close to the den site with these little cubs. Leopard, hyena, cheetah just really have a very, very tough time of things. And of course, it doesn't help that even though they've got a higher hunting success rate, they don't often manage to keep their kills away from the hyenas out here. They usually just have time for a couple of quick gorged mouthfuls. But lions, why? Males. I had a funny feeling when the males popped out that this was going to happen. Nothing we can do about it, unfortunately. We just have to... Kitty, kitty. No, that doesn't work on lions. I should know. I've tried it in desperation a few times. Would you like to hear a funny fire story while I sit here? I'll tell you a funny fire tale of a friend of mine. We, it was the same runaway fire I was talking about, but it just kind of got to the point where it was almost under control, and we raced back to get help to help to control it. And she had just arrived in the African bush. She was very enthusiastic, but was perhaps not fully aware of the realities of the African vegetation. So she begged us to come with. We raced back out to the fire. She jumped out with her fire beater took three steps and went straight into three knob thorns with her arms extended like this. Now, Steph, for our new viewers, perhaps if you ask Steph nicely, he'll show you what a knob thorn tree is. She went into three little ones and she was stuck, spread eagled as the fire disappeared off down into the distance. And us at the time took one look at the way that she was stuck and the, the, the places that the thorns had hooked. I went, JB, help me, JB, and then disappeared. By the time we'd finished, finished unpicking her from all of the little knob thorns, she, um, she raced forward and the fire was just a smoldering remain. It was completely out and she started enthusiastically beating a burning pile of elephant dung. It was hysterical. I, I, it's, it sticks in my mind and now I've, I've, it's bought, bought that story. She was very enthusiastic. I'm going, 10 out of 10 for enthusiasm. 3 out of 10 for observational awareness. But it happens. Most of us kind of now instinctively duck the knob thorns. <laughs>